Some folks have noticed in my mix videos I am not using any RCAs and sometimes people think I'm not actually mixing. Um, but this is a quick video to show you how to set up the digital uh, inputs and outputs on the DJM 900. So along the top of the faceplate here um, on our channel selector knobs you can see we've got a couple options on every one. Um, digital, CD line, phono, and then USB for the sound card that's built in. Um, I always have mine on digital because uh, it's just a lot easier to wire up. As you can see on the back of the CDJs, this is a, a CDJ2000 Nexus and then this is a regular CDJ2000. They have a pair of the regular red and white RCAs and then they also have this orange connector right there and that is uh, the digital out. Now these um, outputs are parallel meaning that both of them output at the same time, the same signal level, the same signal exactly. Um, so you can see I just have a regular RCA red cable in here that I've split from the other half of the white. Um, they will work identically. There's a little bit of a difference between a uh, digital coaxial cable and an RCA cable, but for short runs like these, there's not a whole lot of issue with using them. So back over here on the DJM 900, we have uh, three of our CDJs plugged in right now. Um, the white one I have here is on channel two, and again, the colors on these cables are totally arbitrary. These could be pink, blue, whatever color. As long as they're coaxial and 75 ohm resistance, uh, like most RCAs are, they will work just fine for digital. And it saves you a lot on cabling, and it's just a lot easier to hook up all together. And it also leaves you all these other inputs open uh, for other sort of um, uh, different sort of players or inputs. So you can have all of these also connected to another set of CDJs, if you will, and then you can simply just change whatever you're selecting on here. It makes it a lot easier. Another really cool thing about digital is that it actually carries both the left and the right channel in one single cable. So you don't have to have twice as many cables anymore. You just have to do your single 75 ohm resistance coaxial cable out of your CDJs and into the mixer. And again, you don't need to do anything fancy on the CDJ. They're just automatically outputting from both the RCA and the digital output. All you really have to make sure that you do is you switch your channel selectors uh, to the correct uh, input source. So obviously, if you're using all digital like I do, you just want to have all of your channel selector knobs switched to digital. 